With me, the big red machine himself, Mr. Brian Jones. Yo, yo, what's good? What's good out there, wrestling fans? What's up, everybody? Also, coming to you live and direct from Los Angeles, California, it's your boy, it's even mythical. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight was a very, very interesting night. TNA, you finally stepped up the bar. Thank you very much. But before we get into that, straight up, coming to you. From Atlanta, Georgia, the new, I repeat, the new tag team champions. One half of the tag team guys is Mr. Gator himself. I am the tag team champion. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. <laughs> damn, oh, exactly. Excuse me? Exactly, damn. <laughs> Interesting oh night, man. Hey, first off, uh, congratulations, DJ Gator, Emilio Nice, a.k.a. Self Made Destiny, tag team yes. champion. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Red, let's start it off. All right. So, Kenny oh, King, Z- yes, thank you, Damien. Kenny King and Zima Ion going one on one. This match. We haven't seen Zima, Zima Ion for a while, but Kenny King tore it up. Oh, man, Kenny King always tears it up when he gets in the ring. Now, is it just me or is it Kenny King just adding, adding a little more flash to his shit that you're like, damn? Hell, yeah. I mean, Kenny King is one of the best division, ex-division, you know, competitors there right now. I very mean, much so. Very much so, I mean, man. I, I mean, he right now he's at the top. I mean, I mean he. I mean we suffered that. You know, TNA suffered a loss with uh, uh, and what's his name, Black Matismo. Oh, the Jay Lisa. Yeah, Jay Lisa. You know they suffered a loss with him because you know then you know picking Kenny King back up. You know, saying I was like, all right, you know, saying they got somebody back. You know, saying so. Like Kenny King is a beast. That's all I can say about that dude. He's a beast. Now, not to get a little, you know sound racist or anything, but could it be a, you know, finally, finally, the, it's like the return of the soul back in wrestling. If you notice, up in the E, we got Big E Langston, and now we got down here in TNA, we got Kenny King. Right, right, you start could to it, see more, 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 more soul, more soul coming into the, to the wrestling, like, you know, it's been, been, been a lack of that a little bit there. Right, right. I mean, it seems like they're taking a little chance now. Like, whoa, whoa, okay. Not that anything's wrong with that, but, you know, hey. Right, right. Damn. Awesome fucking match. Kenny King and Zima Ion went up for in this X Division uh, tournament. Ke- Kenny King moves on into the, to the tournament. Uh, Zima Ion, dude, you haven't been on TV and you expect to win? I think so. Moving on next, Robbie T. And... Robbie T and Miss Tesmacher going up against Tara and Jesse. I mean, this Ed, this was a funny ass match. I mean, they, this was a squash match. I mean, come on, we, we know Big Rob was gonna squash that for for real. I mean, that was no contest. Exactly, man. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Exactly, Jesse. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, in in I'm glad to see Big Rob getting more TV time. You know, I li- I like this dude. You yeah, know, um, I'm I I gotta agree, I gotta agree with you on that one. Uh, Robbie T. Uh, for some weird reason, uh, they ended up just like taking a shot at this guy, which is pretty good and it's pretty awesome. The fact that they're letting him kind of like just run with it, you know, hey, here's something silly to do. They're doing it the right way. They got a 
perfect guy to do it with. You now it's like, can you take it all the way home? Oh, so if, if if they keep going in the right direction, they you know what I'm saying uh, they they can pull it off. I mean, but uh, it's it's just some stuff they're doing right now, which they wouldn't be doing. Shout out to you know Tara and Miss Tarafmacher. Oh my God, fuck! One has an ass, one has a bigger ass. God damn! Right? You see, she started popping it in the ring. I was like, oh wow, Miss Tarafmacher. Wow. That, that's why she's on my team. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, dude, next time you wanna fucking show your ass in somebody's face, ooh, 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 right here, right here. <laughs> All right. Damn, man. Up next, uh, oh, by the way, Rob Terry and Tess Ma- and Tess Marker ended up taking uh, beating uh, T- uh, Tara and Jesse. Up next, you had uh, Jeff Hardy going up against J- Jeff Hardy and James Storm, my boy. James Storm going up against Bobby Roode and Austin Aries. By the way, this match is the one that really got me into TNA tonight. It was fucking awesome. Go ahead. What, yeah, what you think about yeah, it, Red? It was. I mean, you you got the two most arrogant heels in the company tag team together. Right. Arguing over what the fuck they're going to wear to the ring. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> I'm going to wear my T-shirt. Well, I'm going to wear my robe. Well, then I'm going to wear my then I'm going to wear my T-shirt. I'm like. Like they had like like two brothers bickering back and forth, right? Exactly. TNA. See, this is what exactly what we've been talking about. Take it a little bit old school, but at the same time, give us something new. Congratulations on that one, TNA. Thorough, straight up. All right. That 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 that, that was a good segment right there. Awesome fucking shit you guys did right there. Awesome fucking shit. Oh, by the way, we are we are now joined by Brandon Dooling. Dooling, what's going on up in Missouri? Nothing but nothing. Mr. K.L. Trickster, what's good, man? What's good? It's so sad today. What's going on, brother? No, I'm just, just bored. Go ahead. <laughs> what's the matter? Did you like TNA, by the way, today or what? Huh? Did you like TNA? Um, I did like it. Well, I... I'm kind of neutral on it. I didn't really. Oh. Know. Yeah. Although I did like Kenny King. Kenny King is uh, looking better and better every week. Um, I asked Red this question earlier. What do you think about this? Do you think that you know, not not being racist or anything, but do you think that they're actually finally pushing black wrestlers? In other words, is the soul coming back into wrestling? Oh, well, I mean. Well, I mean, it's not like he's getting pushed for the world heavyweight title or anything like that. I mean, we've seen plenty of black guys get pushed for titles for non-world titles over the years, if you think about it. But just right. when it comes to world titles, that's a different story. So, but it may be the X Division title, but the X Division was one of the greatest things about TNA, in my opinion. And knowing Kenny King and knowing how talented the dude is, and he has an awesome finisher. So, you right. know what, I'll give it to him. He, I... I really do think that he can be X Division champion. I think he can be. He already has a non-title victory over Van Dam, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't see why he can't do it again. No disrespect to the whole right. effing show. Right. Right. But you know what though? Is 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 it's a good thing they're giving him a push toward the X Division title because you gotta remember the X Division is the division that built TNA. Exactly. Guys exactly. like AJ Styles, Kazarian, Christopher Daniels. I mean, all those guys. Edie Williams, Matt Bentley. Uh, I mean, Chris Sabin, Alex Shelley. Still sounds. Son Jay Dutt. I mean, all those Sonjay individual Dutt, guys. I mean, you name it. I mean, all all those guys right there helped build, you know, the the X division. And let's not forget Jay Lethal, because he and AJ are the only men that have ever won the X division title six times. Oh yeah, I already mentioned Jay Lethal. I, I, I already forget. said they took they took a major blow when they released him. And don't forget and Elix they, Skipper either. You remember Triple X? You remember all three the X Division type guys. So so and Jerry Lynn even. Can't forget Jerry yeah. Lynn. Can't can't forget Amazing Red. I mean, so many talented X Division guys, and it went from one of the greatest things about TNA to. I'm glad they're doing this tournament because they're showing more than one exhibition guide for a change. But just 
this is still nothing compared to what the Activision used to be and right. what it really could be, you know? But that's before, you call, before you called in, we were talking about Jeff Hardy and James Storm versus Bobby Roode and Austin Aries. What do you think about that match? Um, I like the match, although I really didn't expect uh, Jeff to get knocked beside the head with the belt like that. I didn't think it was going to end like that. But um, All I can really say is hope Jeff knows what he's doing. I mean, he's won triple threat matches before. I mean... Um, Armageddon, which one was it? Armageddon 2008 when he won the WWE title. That was a triple threat match involving Edge in the game. So, I mean, Hardy's done it before, but got to be careful. I mean, you're facing the longest reigning TNA heavyweight champion and the longest reigning X Division champion of all time and the man who ended the longest reigning TNA champion. So, and who I, in my opinion, should have been superstar of the year wrestler of the year, but that's, that's, that's for another time. By the way, TNA fans, don't forget, going down this Sunday, Genesis, live on pay-per-view, brought to you by TNA, Impact Wrestling, or Impact Wrestling. Uh, more information, go to impactwrestling.com. Uh, Red, awesome fucking match, don't you think, really? Oh, yeah, man. I, I, I always like seeing... Um, James Storm perform. I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of James Storm. All right, so this Sunday, uh, does Jeff Hardy lose the title? Um, if I think what's going to happen is going to happen, then yeah. Which would be? Prediction time. Uh, prediction, I, his contract is coming to an end. I say he leaves. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. And okay, so the entire and, and reason he that he's had the belt, really, and the fact that they gave him rest of the year is because they want to keep him anyway. So that's okay. So, kind of so if he part. so if he does leave, uh, who who's the new champ? Hmm. Boy, that's I a tough say. one. I mean, I mean, Aries was the one that lost the belt to Hardy, and Rude lost the belt. I don't I don't know who they would give it to in this particular case. Hmm. Or mm-hmm. would they make a surprise and give it to somebody else? My, you never know if they might do that either. If I did have to pick between Austin and in um, Aries and uh, Rude, I, I would probably it would probably be Rude. Hmm. Good choice. Good choice. I'm only going for Rude because I need those fucking 200 points. Thank you, Paul Martin. I gotta go. That's the reason I gotta go for Aries because Aries happens to be the only TNA guy on uh, Mike on um, Willoughby and I's draft pick. By the way, if you guys want to know what we're talking about, we're talking about points. We're also talking about our fantasy league over at WCC. Don't forget to add us on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash wrestling commentary central. Uh, Bobby Roode could be your next World Heavyweight Champion, by the way. I don't know. I do like the way that his chances are going right now. Um, I didn't know that about Jeff Hardy. I didn't, I didn't really know about his contract coming up to the minute. Yeah, it's yeah. been talked yeah. about quite a bit, especially around Path for Glory. Um, things like that, you know, them wanting to keep Jeff Hardy from leaving, so and people, and all, a lot of people saying that's the reason why they gave him the belt in the first place. Hmm. Now, is it him, or is it Kurt Angle that said he wanted to retire up in the E? I, I believe that was Kurt Angle that said that. Hmm, okay, okay. Main event yeah. time, uh, Sting going up against Mike Knox in an in, in prompt match. At a you know main event, I didn't see this one coming. But uh, is it just me, or is it that Mike Knox loses touch a little bit? Yeah, uh, that's it. Can you really um, lose something that you never really had since WWE? <laughs> well, well, technically he was a pretty good wrestler before he hit the E. I mean, wow. no, I mean he was, and even in the E, he wasn't all that bad. I mean, he wasn't all you know that bad or anything like that in the heat. Uh-huh. All I'm saying is, he's only been a TNA for a little bit, so I'm not going to say he lost his touch quite yet. Right. Hmm. But you know I mean, what? He's I, only I been gotta a TNA give, for a bit. I got to give Mike Knox a hand for getting rid of that dirty-looking beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anybody man. remember when he had long hair, though, when he had like his hair was longer and he had that beard? Yeah, he looked like a homeless guy. Right. <laughs> I mean, he looked. I mean, he looked like a. He looked like a. 
a, he looked like a Homeless pre guy. PG era Damian Sandow in a way. Oh wow! I, mean, like, I can't believe. Don't tell him that. Don't don't say that to Sandow. I know he's gonna. I know he's gonna like. I will beat the miscreants out of you. The fact that you call me that is an absolute fallacy. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Thank you. I how dare you compare me to a cartoon cat? I will not. How, how dare you have the how, whatever that T word was? <laughs> I understand some of his words. I can't understand all of them. Like some of them, I didn't even know for for words. Wow. I think man. I could. I think I could. I think I could pull a good Danny and stand down impression, but I gotta work on it. Next question is this: Is it is this the end of Sting? Have you noticed all of his like since he came back this last time he came back, everything is now on his own pace. I'll walk to the ring when I feel like it. I'll walk as slow as I feel like it. I'll That's carry a bat if I feel like it. <laughs> That's what because he's the king. He do what he want to do when he want to do it. And can't nobody tell him otherwise. Because the people <laughs> come to see Steve. I mean... Oh, I'm sorry. Right. I mean, that's just like that's just like that's just like last week. You like you like this like all right, yeah, Sting. They hyping up Sting, hyping up Sting. Stay finna come from the Raptors. This motherfucker comes strolling down the fucking walkway. True, <laughs> <laughs> well, If you think about it, how weak does that make Ace and Ace look? If you think about it, to get get beat like that from a dude who didn't even bother coming down the Raptors. Yeah. I'm, exactly. I'm like, I was like, all right, the lights go flash out, then he go come down from the rafters and shit. And so <laughs> things just casually strolling down the walkway. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Although you got to give him credit. They, although you got to give him credit. Knox effed up Kurt Angle, though. And got him in his, I mean, he and he got him in his neck. Oh, yeah. I, I'll, so, I, I, I mean, that for what, for last week, I think they bounced back pretty well. That's not Kurt Angle like that. Right. Now, what it, now, let me ask you this. Okay, Jacob says he's an OG. He could, he, he got it like that. Now, what would you guys do if you guys were in, were in control of TNA right now? How would you guys make his debut more epic? Who's debut? I don't know. Things. Things re debut back in, you know, TNA. His comeback, in other words. Then... For one, and he wouldn't have been strolling down to the ring like that. He would have came down from the Raptors or, or something like that, and or no, or no, no, he probably couldn't have brought back his Joker side or whatever that was trying to no, bring no, back. I, his I think I there. think I probably would have went more with his Crow persona because that, that's mostly when he did that when he was doing the Crow persona, he would come from the Raptors and shit. Okay. Did you, like that, did you actually like that red? By the way, when when he was in in his WCW days, did you actually like that when he used to come down from the Raptors? Yeah, I thought it was something you know cool and different. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. You know, it was like you know, say this motherfucker coming from the Raptors, like yeah, all right, I'm a badass. I'm finna whip y'all's ass with this bag. God rest his soul. But do you believe maybe because of what happened with Owen Hart, we didn't see that again? Mm-hmm. Maybe so. I mean, because ever, ever since then, I mean, they've been so iffy on um, doing, you know, stunts and shit like that. Right. And, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and, and, and to take a minute for that, and I still don't understand why Owen did that stunt when he himself said that, you know, he didn't feel right doing it. And I'm like, if you didn't feel right doing it, you shouldn't have been doing it. Right. Going back to WCW and Sting, uh, oh, man, I like that one where he just literally just shot down like it wasn't just like a oh, slowly here I come down it was like more like it's staying like oh shit he's there already you know oh yeah yeah Man. I know I know the bungee cord I know I know that I know the bungee cord the rest of the time were like those those tight lines but that one with the bungee cord like came down the, like of all of Sting's previous things in WCW it seems like this version of Sting well minus the just strolling out to the ring last week minus that it seems like this thing is kind of a combination of all his previous versions in WCW in a way. That's what I've always thought. I mean, like, sometimes he may not necessarily come down from the rafters, but sometimes he'd be up in the rafters, or sometimes, you know, he would try, he would try 
some other aspects. You know? So we got Mike Knox without a mask I mean without a mask on. So who's next? Who do you guys have in mind who would be in, next? In, in, in case some people don't know what we're talking about, they finally unmasked Mike Mike Knox for last night as the big guy from Aces and Eights. Yeah, and well, another really, big guy from Aces and Eights. Gal, if you guys like, are really sleep, sleeping under a rock, yeah. Mike Knox is was, now officially a teenager. Which I was like, about damn time. Exactly, right? Hmm. We got a question from Facebook right now. If you guys got Facebook, make sure to add us on Facebook, facebook.com slash group slash wrestling commentary central. We got a question from T. Sean Jones. It says, gentlemen, do you guys believe that this is the last and final month we get of aces and eights? Yeah, you know, um, I actually wouldn't be surprised if they carried this for at least two more months, the way this okay. goes. I wouldn't Red, be surprised if they carried this for more. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, they still have quite a few to unmask, and they're not going to all unmask them all this month. No. They hmm. just did, they just did Mike Knox last week, and look how long it took. And how many months was that before? And how many months was that between him and Gallows? Like, how many months was it between Gallows? And, and it took them kind of long to unmask Gallows in the first place, and then how many months did it take them to just get Knox? Hmm. Yeah, it's like, what, two months apart almost? Right. But, but, yeah, pretty much. So they're, they're probably going to take this, uh, probably gonna take this quite, a, quite a while. Uh, I honestly whole, wouldn't be surprised if they took this all the way to lockdown. To be honest, uh, I'm, I'm hoping it ends before the summer. I mean, uh, I just can't take too much more of the who, who's behind what and this, that, and the other. I'm like, that would just like to drag it on that long would be just like repetitive for real. Yeah, it would make the storyline real. Just it would get old real fast if they drug it out that long. And the longer they go, the weaker aces and eights possibly could start looking. Right. And as if they didn't already make him weak enough, like we talked about with Sting, not even have to come down to the Raptors and whoop all their asses, or them constantly losing on pay-per-view usually, if you look at it. Hence, Immortal. You know how long that took. <laughs> yep. I mean, heck, They're at coming. least Immortal didn't lose that much. Yeah. They're coming. They're coming. That's how you hear it. They're coming. Like, who well, the hell coming? <laughs> oh, man. For those of you guys on Twitter, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at WCC Live Red. So you're saying that this weekend we could possibly have a new World Heavyweight Champion, and his name is Bobby Roode. Yes, sir. Mr. Brandon Dillon is going to go with Austin Aries. Mm. I, I don't know. Well, actually, I might actually have to agree with Red on this one, if for nothing else. I mean, before, but I mean, uh, I mean, he did just lose the belt at Bound for Glory a few months back. I don't think they would suddenly hop. It's not. I, I wouldn't necessarily say hot potato, but they wouldn't get. I don't know if they would give the belt right back to him necessarily after already losing it when he was the one that lost it to him in the first place. Right. I actually, I might actually have to agree with Red on this one. If we have a new heavyweight champion, it'll be rude, but we'll see. Because they may, they may yeah. still let Hardy keep it or some sh- like that, and then find someone. Yeah. They might do this. They might find some way for him to keep it, and then the very next impact, they might do something where he gets injured, has to relinquish the belt, and then leaves. You never know. Gentlemen, not to not to cheat, but technically I'm on a win-win situation here. Let's say Jeff Hardy does lose. Uh, you got Bobby Roode and you got Austin Airy. For me, it's a win-win situation. I love both guys. They both could be either your next world champ. Points-wise, I'm leaning towards Bobby Roode. That's the only reason why. But I think I'm going to go with Austin Airy as, as a final choice. But like I said, either way, it's a win-win situa- situation for me because of the fact that I love both guys. But you can't pick everybody. Exactly, right? Gator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll let you finish. Oh, God. You know what? <sighs> um, I, I, I think uh, I, I need to send a letter or something to TNA about the storyline they're about to do with Bully Ray, and it's just like... 
Oh, dude, I almost forgot about that. We don't know that. another wedding storyline. It's like we've yeah, like, did they not it, learn it, anything from? Like, did they not learn anything from when AJ became GM to stop having all this wedding crap? I mean, I mean, I guess what? What the scandal? What the scandalous storylines weren't cutting it for you? Now you got to do another marriage one. We've been DNA, we you've done this oh shit my. for years. Before we give you the whole the whole rundown, by the way, shout out to Devon calling Brooke Hogan a bitch. That shit was <laughs> hilarious, dude. I mean, but cause I, I mean, I mean, cause he come out there, he's like, "Don't take another step, or the next time you see Brooke, she's gonna be all fucked up and shit like that." He was talking shit to Sting. Did she say something? Thing? You know, he turned around. Shut up, bitch. I'm like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, Dang, you should have seen him pimping. He was trying, he, man. He was trying to uh, take, uh, he was trying to do Pope's thing and be pimping. Oh no! I mean, the shit was hilarious because you wasn't expecting that. Oh man! Because that shit that came awesome. out of nowhere. Uh oh! Uh oh! Why doesn't everybody get quiet? As soon as DJ gets in the building. Really? Everybody better be quiet. When I, when I call back in, hold up. Oh, I oh, the champ. Hold up. The, the champ is here. No. It was it me. It was the one on me. <laughs> oh. By yeah. the way, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to DJ Nice, Emilio Nice. One half really of the right. 19 champions. Yo, so Gator. Yo, Gator. One half of the tag team champion alongside with DJ Gator himself. No doubt. See, we should have been known as the DJs of Destiny. Oh, oh DJ uh, of Destiny. Yes. Yeah. Hey, can we, <laughs> hey, can we <laughs> say our name? Can we say our wow. name? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all are th- so basically y'all are the Alberta Del Rios of the DJ world. Did you just oh, say that? You did you just say yeah. that? I think you did. Shut up, bitch. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you I can't You're imagine welcome. DJs coming out to that shit. <laughs> don't hey, you imagine if one, the Rio was a uh, DJ? Hey, hey, hey I'll, come, know, I'll come out to that music any day, shit. Don't matter. Hey, you know what we gotta do, right? We gotta uh, mix. Yeah, we gotta mix yeah. Alberto Del Rio's interest music. You gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get ready for that one. The promo is coming. Damn, oh, my my coming. people are about to flip. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just thought of something. No, like you know, it'd be. I think it'd be hilarious if like Del Rio had a version of his theme where like you'd hear that uh, this scratchy thing like on on his uh, on his music. Oh, you're that'd here. Be that'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious if you asked me. <laughs> That's what we were just talking about this time. <laughs> no, but hey, bring, bring it back to TNA real quick, gentlemen. Before we go, bring it back to TNA. Shout out to Devon Dudley, aka the what do you call himself back in the E? He called himself the Wigan, the not the minister, but the what? Uh, Pain. No, no, not Trey Payne. <laughs> not Trey Payne. Who are we talking about? Uh, uh, uh Devon? Reverend Devon? Reverend Devon, right? Yeah, Reverend yeah. Devon. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Devon for calling Brooke a bitch. And, uh, dude, TNA, keep on your writing like that. Keep it up. Seriously, there's no other fucking way to do it. Right? Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. I agree. And oh, that's no Gator? You're just going to agree? You get no points for that, Joe. Don't I know, right? Fucked up. I fucked up right there. I, <laughs> I sick fucked up right there. I bought you. I don't know, but D1 is, 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 is becoming my new favorite heel in TNA. Uh-oh. 
just for calling Brooke, just for calling Brooke a bitch. That was that was awesome. That was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't. It didn't have her daddy in the ring. He's acting like a little biatch. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. And of course, he's he's been acting like a little biatch for the past couple of weeks ever since he's seen Bully Bully Ray and her kissing. Uh-uh. Mm. Nope. Yeah, oh, he has. words right there, man. He has, ain't he? Mm, let's get ready to rumble. I don't think he's seen that shit coming. Uh-uh. I don't think this is storyline anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you know what? I'm starting to think that too. That that kiss was I mean, a little, was a little I mean, too real. When it, when it was revealed, the look on his face, <laughs> right? Was I mean, yeah, it, 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 it was too real. Like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> no, what made it even worse was that kiss, though. Hey, I'm not hitting on I'm bullying oh, Ray or anything, man. but that kiss was like he, he looked at her like at his daughter like, "Bitch, what the fuck you doing?" Like yeah, that he, wasn't part of the script, right? I mean, because well, she know, was like, because she was like, too, she she took bully and she threw him up against the car and just started kissing. I'm like, wow, that was that was a little bit real right there. You know, it's real though, because women always do that shit. The dude always be kind of hesitant. That's your pops, man. Uh-oh. That's Only in Atlanta. Like a... Only in Atlanta. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was well I'm just saying. I'm just saying it's like a, it's like a respect thing. Like, man, right. you let go of her hand. As soon as, like, you're walking her to the door. And dad pops up and opens the door. You let go of her hand real quick. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, you know. Yeah, it now is it, what it is. Now, is it just me or is it the fact that Brooke Hooker is actually getting a little hotter now? Women always look better when they with somebody. <laughs> Wait till she I don't know, but I don't know, but she... she so I you know, heard... She got a little thicky thick there. I like that. Yeah, she is well, you know, in the right places. Well, you know what happens, what makes that happen. <clears throat> uh-oh, uh-oh. <clears throat> Dr. Gator in the building. Sorry, got to be an after night or after show. <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> Tune in at 12. No, it's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, she be, she be getting that ass, man. You guys do know she's into a little... Into I got another question fever. for you. There's another question just came across. Oh. You say, she, you say she's into what? She's a little into that jungle fever, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Oh, is she now? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she likes Somebody. it. She likes it. Oscar eggs. She likes that black licorice. She, like, she likes the black licorice, huh? This boy here. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you saying? It? Oscar asks what? Oscar asks, will Jeff Hardy return to the WWE and face CM Punk? Hmm. You know what? That could be a possibility. <laughs> the only reason I would agree with Oscar on this one is because of the fact that uh, if you guys watch uh, uh, CM Punk's DVD, he actually talks about he actually uh, cuts a little promo on on Jeff Hardy, talking about how he's really a little bitch. Really? Oh wow! He damn he oh damn mm. he did he did a little shoot on him. Oh wow! He he did he did a little shoot. You guys gotta watch it. If you guys got Netflix, I recommend you guys watch that DVD. Hey, let me get your Netflix account real quick so I can watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, Sugar Bear 323. Let me see. I see, I see, I see a match between them in the future. Sounds like it, sounds like it. Uh, I don't think Jeff Hardy goes is going to take him calling him a bitch and... Yeah, if that's Jeff Hardy takes that. If Jeff Hardy takes that without doing something, he is a bitch. Exactly. All right. Brandon Dooling, you're just going to let Jeff Hardy be called a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Oh, where the sound effects at, man? Where the sound effects? Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You got to be the champion. We can't run the board, too. <laughs> I want to hear some sound effects, damn it. As a champion. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> It kind of makes you wonder, though, how is one bitch go call somebody else a bitch? Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. As, 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 as L calls him, see him bitch. Exactly, I'm right? Not, I'm not touching that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Heather and Lena, what do you think about, you know, self-made destiny as your new champions? <laughs> did somebody just hang up? Hold on. How about you, Phil? You thought you were funny? Really? Oh, wow, Heather. Really? That's, that's, that's how you feel? You know what? You, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. You know what? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> hey, we thank you guys for tuning in. And make sure to catch us every Thursday night after TNA. Uh, for Red Jones, let them know where you can, where you can find you on Twitter, brother. Find me on Twitter at reddone 81 That's in all caps. Ah, shit. Check out TNA Recipe every Thursday night. Right here. Number call 760-569-7676. Access code 200-446-POUND. For the Tag Team Champions. <laughs> we are Tag Team Champions. Hey, I need to say. We are the champions, my friend. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Oh, enjoy. Right. Enjoy, because 187 <laughs> is coming. What is is coming? Hey, I hope they don't get lost. You know, they're coming, but I hope they don't get lost. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there later, though, dog. You know, you know. <laughs> I, just, I just want to get you prepared. That's my dog. Hold on. Oh, just to let y'all know, we, we, we don't play fair. <laughs> oh, it looks like y'all ain't playing at all. What's going on? What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> uh, we got to go before we get in trouble. I didn't even know y'all was in the league. Come on. You know, <laughs> make sure you follow us on Twitter at WCC Live. Also, go to Facebook and add us on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash Russian Commentary Central. We'll see you guys next Thursday. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>